let's complete your scholarship application. Visit our website, gastonstate.edu, click Admissions and Aid, and then Scholarships. Once you're there, you'll see a checklist under the 2021 Graduating High School Senior Application. First, you want to review those scholarships that are available. This will let you know all of the scholarships that are available for this school year, and you'll be able to see all the requirements for each one of those scholarships. Make sure you review them carefully. Once you've reviewed them, you'll scroll up to the top and go back to that checklist. Now you'll move on to step two in this checklist, which is where you will create a NextGen account. Click here and it'll take you right to NextGen. This is the portal where you will actually complete your scholarship application. So create an account just as you normally would, make a username, enter a password, and your email address. We recommend that you don't use your school email address. Use a personal email address instead. Add a security question that you'll know the answer to and a hint so that you'll remember and then click create an account. This will take you to a confirmation page and now you'll need to go to your email inbox so that you can confirm your email. Once you go to your email, you should see something that comes from NextGen. Click confirm email and it will take you back to your NextGen page. Now you're ready to log in to Dynamic Forms, which is also a part of NextGen. You log in with your email or your username that you just selected and your password. It may ask you the very first time to enter in that security question that you created. You'll log in and it should take you to a page that asks if you want to do a two-step authentication. That means you can enter your cell phone number so that you can always make sure you can get into your account more than one way. It'll take you to this page, and then you need to go back to the Gaston State Scholarship website. Once you're back, you're gonna go to step three on the checklist and click the 2021 banner in red. This will bring you into the actual scholarship application. On this first page, it just goes over some general information about applying for the scholarship, deadlines, and other important things that you need to know. Once again, you'll have an opportunity to review all of the scholarship options. And if you have any questions, you can always contact our scholarship office or go to the college website for scholarships. On this page, you're going to enter information that you know, your personal information such as your name, email address, phone number, birth date, and your address. Then you'll go down to the scholarship portion you can select as many scholarships as you want to apply for. Make sure you pay special attention to the required documents under each scholarship. This is where you want to include your essay, your personal statement, or resume that's required for each scholarship. It's really important that you do this. Now you're ready to provide more information about you, the student. You can include information such as volunteer activities or high school clubs that you've been a part of, the name of your high school, as well as upload your transcripts and ACT verification. This is a super important section, so make sure you take your time. Under optional documents, that's where you can upload that resume or reference letter that Ashley spoke about in her quick tip. Once you've completed the application, submitted all documents, you'll do your student acknowledgments, click next, and this is going to take you to the electronic signature page. Please be sure that you are completely done with your application before you electronically sign. You cannot go back in and make any edits if you do this. So make sure you review it. As Ashley mentioned, have someone else review it. And when you're ready, you'll click sign electronically. And that's it.
you're done with the scholarship application. If you have any questions, email scholarships at gastonstate.edu. We can't wait to see you on campus.